I don't even know what to say. Oh. Your Excellency. Yes. It's an honor to see you. I'm happy seeing you. I don't even believe that this is happening. It's like a dream come true. Why can't you believe? You can feel me if you like. I see you, in spite of your my Chinese name, I see you as a <laughs> almost a typical uh, Takradi boy. Uh. Mr. Herman, I just want to say thank you so much for hosting me this weekend. And um, I have to go back to Accra because I got a lot of things to do today. Uh, I got a lot of things to do today. At least you spent a night in the bush. Yeah, it's good to spend a night in the bush. That's oh. bush people. <laughs> <laughs> bush life is heavenly. Yes. <laughs> but I know that you're definitely living your best life because living in a place like that is really awesome. You know? yes. Yeah, it's yes. really awesome. Undisturbed. <laughs> Yeah. You should all help me say thank you to Mr. Hermano in oh. the comment section, man. It's okay. We're happy when we get Mr. So, so far. Out. It's over. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of interesting people live on these hills. Okay. So um, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a surprise. One, we'll stop at one of, on the way to drop you in Accra. Mm -hmm. I'll stop. We say hi to one of my neighbors. One of your neighbors. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I think you'll find it interesting. It's quite a, quite a cool guy. One of your neighbors it's in George. here. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody's stopping us. Uh, so then. Oh, go, 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 go. Yeah, well, that's the mechanic. Oh, okay. Nice. Something happened to my other car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to check it out. Oh, yeah. I hope you got him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got it. Life, <laughs> life is me. I just want to show you random life in um, other part of Ghana. You know, because everybody keeps on talking about Accra, Accra, Accra. But it's just outside Accra. Just outside Accra, yeah. Oh, Sorry. okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> you in the bush. Yeah. And the cars people ride in here. Yes, it's got nice, four, <laughs> nice four by fours. Ah, yeah. So yeah, I think if you don't, you don't, if you don't have four by four, you can't ride in. Yeah, there. but you saw the small cars that still go up. Exactly. But the four by fours are better for <laughs> for this kind of environment. Uh, uh, you uh, know, I've noticed something around here. I think it's uh, oh, a hiding place for rich people. You know? Yeah, it's starting to become yeah. that that machine coming. Mm -hmm. It's a borehole machine. Oh, okay. It drills boreholes. Look at it properly. Oh yeah. Oh. We had to drill like ten on our site. You know, because the site I'm on is a 100 acre site, which I sold to all my friends. Okay. And uh, the, the lots are very big. So what we're doing is groups of like 10. Mm. We drill one borehole. There's water under the ground and it's very nice. That's why when you have a bath, the it's water doesn't, it's very clean. It's very clean, yeah. Doesn't, just, uh, doesn't uh, hurt your skin. So obviously someone else has mm. ordered a borehole to be drilled. So that machine is on its way. Oh, we used it before. We don't need tap water. No, we don't have tap water. <laughs> we, have, we have mains electricity. But a lot, of the, a lot of the time we use solar mm. and we use borehole water, water from the ground. So we're not on the water mains. So this is why I keep on telling Africans that they are so blessed, but they don't see. It. Yeah, look at look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's beautiful. Yeah. In front of somebody's house. Yeah, <laughs> this is not a beach house. So no, this is just in, house. somewhere in the bush. <laughs> somewhere in the bush, planted coconut. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. You see. those walls the wall on that house all yeah. the stone they use, they use the stone to make walls which is yeah. very nice too yeah. in this area it's pretty. So we're arriving at Kitasi Junction soon mm. which is near Aburi telling people to buy land in Aburi because I feel like it's it, a perfect it, place to mm, live outside it is, of yeah. it's beautiful the weather yeah. is nice yeah, last night I slept like a baby yeah and there's lots of oxygen in there so <laughs> The problem is you wake up too early. Exactly. And you feel like you're 17 years old because there's so much. <laughs> the air is so rich. Oh, man. Oh, mm. like, ah, I need to come here more often. Yes. <laughs> local police station. 
they all are good. They all are good friends. Every now and then they come and visit. Mm. They come for lunch. They, they're not gonna shoot you. Oh how? Well, this is not America, man. <laughs> They are good friends. If, good if, friends. if we had time, I would have stopped. We would have walked in and they would have had, would have had a great time with them. Uh, I like the father. Mm. This is not American. They don't come and shoot uh, us here. They don't shoot you. We have, we have human rights. <laughs> <laughs> and right to life. It's the heaven. Yes. Oh, nice. uh, they are lovely people. Oh, there's our lawyer. Ooh. That's our lawyer. Zoinis. Where is he? Is he standing out here? Hey, my it's brother. Zia. Hi, Charles, man. Charles, are you leaving? I, I, no, I'm I, leaving. I, I went to your house today, but you are not there. You see now. Uh huh. I'm com <laughs> I'm coming back in a second. Okay. You guys have to catch up with us. Definitely. All right. We are looking snazzy. Hey. 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 Charles, yeah, Charles. Enjoy. What What are you buying? I'm coming back. So. I'm buying some okay, fine. Cut some for yeah. me. I'm coming. See you later. All right, Charles. <laughs> Charles is looking classy today. I hope this one will be good. Oh. Film him too. Our uh, other lawyer. Yeah, I see. Hey, my brother. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you going to come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to come. 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 I'm we are Obano. We are Obano. Cool, 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 cool. Is there man? You're not gonna tell me who I'm gonna meet. No. Hey, I'm, I'm telling, telling everybody you you're gonna surprise me. I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's good. They're getting a feel for what life is like. Exactly. For us every day. Fresh fruits, you know. Yeah, and they see what we do with our lives. I mm. wake up in the morning. I see these are normal Africans. Mm. Charles and Kweku. My friend Peter, he runs a restaurant here. He's closed today. So, if you guys can see, we're on the other road, and this is the other side. This is the main road now. <laughs> exactly. The road that goes into town. <laughs> so, don't ever think that the entire African looks like that place. It's <laughs> another one. Yeah, it's so peaceful here that when I go to Accra, I feel too stressed. It's like New York. It's too exactly. much stress. <laughs> I spend my time here. That's why I was telling these guys that I don't like living in Accra. Mm, it's too it's busy just, for me. Too busy, yeah. It's too busy for me. It's too much of a, it's too yeah. urban, it's too city. Exactly. And cement everywhere. I don't like it. This is Pedrasi Lodge. Oh, okay. It's like Camp David. It's a, it's a Ghana government uh, installation okay. where they have conferences oh. and so on. You said it was built by who? Ghana government, in Nkrumah time. In Nkrumah time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nkrumah was in power. But it's been refurbished. I think under and, uh, mm -hmm. President Kufo, they refurbished it. So it's used for a lot of conferences and so on. Oh, nice. Mm. Another gated community. Nice houses in here too. Wow. This one is, is more uh, more more city like. Yeah. House is more bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My clients like the bush. Your clients like the bush. Yeah, yeah they like the bush roads. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, this place is so pretty. It is. You know, is it allowed to fly a drone in here for people to see the view on top? Yeah, <laughs> we'll ask when we go. Yeah. All right. This is where we're coming. Okay. Police? Hello. Oh, yes, I'm sir. He knows I'm coming. Yes, sir. Henry Hesse. Tell him. Okay. Mr. Emma, who lives here? That's a surprise. Oh, my goodness. A 
a few moments later. Are you doing less, eh? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh. Your Excellency. Yes. It's an honor to see you. I'm happy seeing you. I don't even believe that this is happening. It's like a dream come true. Why can't you believe? You can feel me if you like. I see you, in spite of your my Chinese name, I see you as a <laughs> almost a typical uh, Takradi boy. But, uh? Wow. <laughs> Your Excellency, I want to ask you just a few questions, yeah? You talk. How does it feel to be a president of the Republic of Ghana? What's your profession? Oof. What's but your profession? Engineering. Me, my profession is law and politics. Okay. And so I aspired from as young an age as uh, you mm -hmm. uh, to go into politics. And I worked it for a long period. Ending up eventually at the pinnacle of the, my chosen field, president. So I, it, it wasn't anything extraordinary. I, I committed myself to serve the people. And the people noticed me and gave me the nod. And I worked it for two terms as our constitution would allow. And, then, and uh, yeah, no, you, you, I think you're living your best life because when I came in here, I see you, oh my goodness, you're moving in and out. You're really living your best life. But, you know, uh, what I'm doing right now, it's all actually trying to tell both Africans on the continent and Africans in the diaspora to be mm. proud of themselves and know that of course. we are Africans. So I just want to ask you just one simple question. What is How it? proud are you to call yourself an African? Very, very proud. Just like a Chinese person is proud to you know, you know, describe himself or talk about himself as Chinese or European, would say they are European or American. Me, I'm very proud as an African. But a lot very, of very proud. Africans have turned their back against the continent. Oh, please. Africa is a very huge continent uh, with diverse backgrounds and histories. and uh, So, but I tell you, the way the world is going, mm. I know wherever uh, these people are, they will come around to see Africa as a place to uphold and to be. Because Africa has got everything. And uh, we, we are quickly becoming the envy of other people. Wow. Eh? And we, we got like um, African diaspora, people who are not born on the continent, but now born in the diaspora as um, a former president. If you have a message for people like that, what will you say? Look. The whole world, the rev true revolution happening around the world now, you forget about the technologies. Okay. It's people uh, insisting on being identified for who they are. Well, wherever, in Europe, uh, in Asia, in Africa too, everybody wants to be counted as a person. And I subscribe to the universality of mankind. Human being, you may be red, green, or once you are human, you are entitled to dignities. And Africa is included. So uh, you may be born uh, in the United States. Unfortunately, these days, when we look at the news, we see that it seems uh, discrimination is still rife in that great place. A, a, a nation that was built with migrants and technology and everything helped to make it like a, a foremost nation on earth and with all the supposed enlightenment there why should the people there continue to practice discrimination against the blacks but i tell you when you are looking at nature nature endowed africa with more natural resources than perhaps anybody else as we talk, we know that arable lands, farmable lands, mm. Africa has more than anybody. Over 60% of arable lands on earth now. We are thinking of food security and uh, production. 60% is in Africa. Uh, so why should anybody feel shy to be seen as an African? And I, I've, been, I've been telling so many people that Africa is the future. But um, people are saying I shouldn't say Africa is the future, I should say Africa is now. Africa is now, but me, I say that future is for humanity generally. 
we talk of global village, meaning all people of races, of gender, of religion, we must quickly seize the opportunity to grow into this village as neighbors. Eh? So we share together. Uh, look, you know, you've come to see me when the whole world is afflicted with a pandemic yeah. that uh, has befuddled even the best of scientists and all that. We are searching for solutions. We haven't found it. Has this thing spared anybody? No. Whether you are American no. or Chinese or... We are all in the boat together. Exactly. Which should teach us that we sail together or perhaps we destroy the planet, our planet Earth together. So we are into times where we should see the future as belonging to a human being. Hmm? And Africa is part of it. But when you look at, you take time and study uh, the map of the world, see the continental arrangements, you see that Africa sits caught in the middle of the arrangements. Europe to the north, the Americans, Americas, north and south, to the west, Asia to the east, and down south is all sea. Atlantic joining the Antarctic and so forth and so on. And with all the endowments with, of Africa, and with youth like you from Africa, uh, with the mobility that uh, the new technologies uh, have um, facilitated uh, the globe now, with people going, you, you studied in China for six years. You yeah. speak Mandarin and all. Mandarin. I suspect you may even have a Chinese girlfriend. I, <laughs> before, but not now. What do you mean by that? No, no, Are you sure I didn't leave any baby, baby there? Huh? <laughs> so how can anybody say? Uh, yeah? mm? So uh, this is where the world is going. Yeah. The world is for all of us together. Exactly. We must learn quickly mm. to live together. But Africa holds the center, natural resources, and thankfully, the African Union, the mm. Continental Union of Nations, is talking about new partnership for Africa's development. Yeah. You know, partnership from both within and from outside. The only thing is, is win-win. That should underpin the partnerships. Once we get it like that and we are moving, creating opportunities for youth like you. So uh, you are not driven to try to cross the Sahara Desert mm. by foot or by uh, rickety vehicles and to be uh, sunk or uh, drowned in, say, Mediterranean because you think uh, there's a, a greener pasture That's somewhere. Right. That should be banned. Africa has got it all. Africa has got it all. But, you know, like, Africa is made up of 54 African countries. And there's this message that I'm actually preaching on my channel that mm -hmm. we need to come together as one. Don't make it a precondition. It's happening. As you sit here, I suspect you've traveled extensively on the yeah. continent and I understand you are using your technological grasp to send messages all over Africa and into exactly. wherever the Africa, African diaspora, yeah. wherever they are. Have you come as one with anybody physically? Have I come? As one. You say Africa must, the countries must unite must, must before we... Uh -huh. We are uniting. Yeah. The unity comes from knowledge and the new technologies and also the self-respect. I told you uh, identity mm -hmm. is the revolution around the world now. Everybody wants to be counted. Mm -hmm. And you may be West African, East African, South African, North African. If you, you know yourself and you are self-assured, you don't need uh, the stamp of any other person to put your hand on your chest. Yes. Me, I'm Kwabna like you, mm -hmm. and proud as an African. Wow. Once the whole of Africa appreciates this, the unity is there. I I'm asking this question for mm. the African diaspora. Yes. Do you think they need to be granted um, automatic um, citizenship when they get here? Oh, the African Union, has, they describe the diaspora and African as the sixth uh, region of Africa. <laughs> On the continent, there are five regions, mm -hmm. North, West, East, I believe Central and Southern Africa. Yeah. But officially, the African Union, you know the Assembly of the Nations we talk about, exactly. met in Addis Ababa and said, the, no, the sixth region is the African uh, the around the world. Yeah. 
So they are, they are here. And I believe they, there's even a, a spokesperson or an ambassador mm. representing the diaspora and African at the summit of African Union. Okay, yeah. So they only have to venture and mm. come and they will say they are coming back home, coming back to their roots. Thank you. Mm? And I just wanted to thank you so much for talking to me, but uh, we got a lot of African youth watching us right mm. now and I would love you to just send one message to the entire African youth watching us right now. African youth. I'm grandfather to all of you. My firstborn is about 56 years old and he's given me grandchildren who are your age. Is it Chief? You know Chief? Yeah, he's a fan. He's a big fan. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you see, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very small world. Yeah. And I have grandchildren your age. Wow. Finished university, some masters, uh, holders and all that. And uh, they, they are people of the world. They should be proud of themselves. The, the, pigments, the pigmentation of this, what, what is it? As I sit here, trust me, your grandfather, that I, I have no complex at all. I see people as individuals. You may be as white as a snow. If you are a crook to me, you are a crook and not worthy of my company. You may be as black as myself. If your mind and uh, your sense of values are things I respect, I tell you, I'll lay the red carpet for you to walk up. Because people who acknowledge you, people so be proud of your Africanness. And know that uh, uh, if you are in America, United States, or wherever, or China, like you, I tell you the place for you, your roots are here. I wouldn't say Africa is better than everywhere else, yeah. but I tell you, Africa is the equal of everybody, everywhere else. So be proud to be an African and look towards Africa. You could be European, you could be African. Mm. Nah? So what stops you? And say, feel free and be citizen of the world, and not from Africa. Excellency, thank you so much for talking to me. I'm happy meeting you. This is not a dream, it's real, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. But your Chinese name I cannot pronounce. Oh.